Hey, welcome to Board Game Casual, and today we're looking at a head-to-head -head dexterity game, Hook and Ring Battle by Buffalo Games. Generally, I'm not super big into dexterity games, but I've found I really like having games like this in a party situation. Now, these hook and ring games are nothing new. There are a lot of different brands making them. In fact, I know a lot of people make their own, and they can range in size from a tabletop version like this one to life-size ones where the ring is as big as your hand and is hanging from the ceiling and the hook is mounted on a wall 10 feet away. I really like this production by Buffalo Games. It's well-made, constructed from solid wood, it comes with everything you need, and has a great table presence. There's some basic assembly required to put it together, but nothing too complex. No tools are needed. You can do this with your hands. And it also means that you have the option to take it apart for storage if you want to. I keep mine assembled and store it on a shelf. My favorite part about it, and why I really like this particular version, is how easy it is to adjust the length of the string on the fly if you need a little more slack or a little more tension in the line. It's also super affordable. I got mine for 20 bucks on Amazon. The beauty of this game is how simple it is to learn. Anyone who sees it from afar immediately intuits how to play. The goal of the game is to swing the metal ring and get it to catch on the hook. This production also comes with a nice wooden point tracker. Every time you get a hook, you move the tracker one space towards your opponent. Similarly, every time your opponent hooks a ring, they're pushing the tracker back towards you. The game is played in real time and you basically swing as much as you want and as quickly as you want. So there's this tense real time battle going back and forth. And whoever's able to push the tracker all the way off the board towards their opponent wins. Of course, Buffalo Games knew what they were doing here and made the tracker the perfect size for a shot glass, which is my preferred way to play the game. Jello shots are also great for this game as well. This is an awesome game to have out when you have parties. Just put it on a table off to the side and people naturally gravitate towards it if they want to play. I like having little activity stations at parties for people as they float around. It plays so fast that people can play a quick game and then continue on mingling. It makes a great icebreaker like, hey, come over here, I'm challenging you to a game. Or it might even become the center of attention and gather a full crowd that's whooping and hollering over a really back and forth battle. It's even cheap enough that you could buy a few copies if you wanted to set it up tournament style. It's tougher than it looks, but after a few tries, you usually start to get a feel for it. And it's fun to see everyone bring in their own techniques. I've seen people use looping swings. I've seen people use spins using two hands. It's really exciting when people get in the zone and the point tracker is going back and forth or someone's up against the ropes and just keeps getting enough hooks to hang on. Whether you're a fan of dexterity games or not, Hook and Ring Battle is a great one to have around for casual occasions, and I guarantee your guests will love it. I was actually introduced to this Buffalo Games production at a friend's house. What up, Cheryl? It's become a staple at her parties, and it's always a hit, so I knew I had to get my own copy. Definitely check this one out. Thanks for watching, and hey, thank you to everyone who's been subscribing and for all the kind words. I started this channel as a fun way to make videos and maybe help give back to the board game community, and it really means a lot that people are watching them and finding them useful. So please know I appreciate you. With that, I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.